My name is Meg and I'm going to tell you about my favourite painting in the Time and Tide Museum collection. This particular painting is inside the Time and Tide Museum in our recreated row and you could easily miss it if you weren't looking for it. It hangs inside our parlour above the mantelpiece and it captures a scene of Great Yarmouth's quayside just after a storm with the streets glistening wet with rain. But the storm has just passed and the sun is peeping round the clouds and people have come out to enjoy the streets again. This painting is called View of South Quayside Looking North and was painted in 1900 by a painter called Guy Palmer. One of the reasons why I love this painting so much is the atmosphere that is captured within it. In the background of the painting, you have all the lovely fishing boats that have just come in full of fish ready to be sorted on the quayside or indeed are ready to go out. You can just imagine the sounds of the boats knocking together, the sails, the rigging, the sounds of the waves as it laps against the quayside and the sounds of the rain as it patters against the sails. But despite the storm, you also have the wonderful East Anglian skyline that is captured here as well, with the storm clouds in the foreground, but the beautiful sunshine just peeping round the corner with the promise of sunshine and lovely weather. If we take a closer look at the people, I wonder what they are doing. What are the children looking at? Is the man their father? Are they perhaps playing a game? We don't know, but the artist included them for a reason, and I wonder what he's trying to say about this stormy day in Yarmouth, that despite all of this bad weather, the children can still come out and play. And look, here is a fisherman. He is walking along the quayside with his brace of hen. I wonder where he is going. Perhaps he's going home after a long day at sea, or perhaps he's just setting out. Maybe he's going to visit a relative with a present. Perhaps the artist is saying that despite everything in terms of the bad weather and the storm, the herring and the fishing industry will still remain important to Great Yarmouth. And here is our very own Elizabethan house, which still stands on the quayside today. I love how the artist has painted the sunlight to rest on this particular house on the quayside. Perhaps he's stressing the importance of the house to Yarmouth as a whole. Whatever the reason, we are glad that the Elizabethan house still stands on our quayside today. We don't know very much about Guy Palmer, but he did paint a couple of other paintings of different views in Norfolk that we also have in our collections. There is so much more you can say about this painting, and every time I look at it, I see more details. And for me, it seems to capture the very essence of Yarmouth. Even though it's showing a really horrible, wet, windy, stormy day, it still is very inviting, and it makes me want to come and tread those streets and meet those people. as much as I have and please do come and look at it when we are open again.